BBT, it's all about bringing fun back to tournament bass fishing. Come out and play with BBT. Grab a hold of that. There you go. Let's do that whole net thing again. How would you do the I, net? I can't do the net thing. I just stuck it in the water and he swam in the net. Well, you know, we, here we are at the BBT opener on the Northern Division. He stuck up. You know, you don't even put the microphone. I'm loud, man. I can talk loud. And I've got the guys. I tell you what. I got Scott Cook and Jim. Which, how do you pronounce the last name? Mo. 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 Okay. So these guys took third place. They had 1642 here at Berryessa. It was 20 degrees, what, 25 to 28 degrees. Frost on the pumpkin. It was cold. These guys whack them. Tell me how you caught them. Uh, brown and purple jigs in the backs of coves. Backs of coves, brown and purple jigs. Yeah. How deep of water? Uh, 10 to 15 feet. And how big a jig? Uh, half ounce. Half ounce. Yeah. And what pound test were you throwing that jig on? 15. 15 pound test. Were you throwing it up on the bank, dragging it out? Throwing it parallel, up a break? What were you throwing? We were throwing it up on the bank and bringing it out. And we got kind of lucky. Towards the end of the day, we stumbled across the bait ball. And the water was just boiling with fish. You know, it's funny. One of the guys earlier today, I'm not going to say who, was watching a bait ball in the back over here. And he said their bass were just blowing up on them right here. So if you're fishing a tournament away from this body of water, you can fit. They were just blowing up. I was like, what? Yeah, they were just jumping everywhere. But you, this was off limits. So now you found this bait ball. They were jumping? Uh, the water is boiling, absolutely. And uh, we, we probably caught five squawfish about that big. OK, and what did you do to the squawfish? I just let them go. <laughs> take care of squawfish. All right, all right. Yeah, you got to take all care right. of them things. You know, so was it a good day for you? It was a great day for me. I finally caught a fish, and it was uh, 278. And Jim says, "Sorry, you gotta throw it back." And I said, "Okay." <laughs> it just wasn't gonna call up for you guys, huh? It wasn't gonna cut it for us. I tell you what, can you add anything else? If a guy's gonna go out there and fish next week, what what do you think he ought to learn? Were you fishing it slow? Were you hopping it? Were you hopping it? We're hopping it. You were hopping the jig? Yeah. Because yeah. everybody's talking about dragging it. Yeah, no, there's too much weeds on the bottom of that. You come back with a bunch of junk every time. So. Is it is it healthy weeds? Is it uh, grassy no, it green? Was, green? Just, just like a sludge, actually. Like kind of, you know, it's just, yeah, not even weeds. I don't know. It's just like it's kind of a slime. Yeah. Dead vegetation. Slime on the bottom. Dead vegetation. But the bait was there, and that's why the fish was there. Yeah. yeah exactly. Now, did you see anything that was bigger? Oh, uh, no. You caught what you caught, you did yep. with the good. Yep. Well, at 1642, that's pretty dang good. Yeah, it was a solid bag. We didn't, we really didn't have any big kickers. It's just a really solid bag of fish. You know, here at Berryessa, these guys whacked them third place. Give a round of applause, if you would, please. Okay.